Hi, this is Paul Harrison with Imaginate Technologies. I'm going to be talking to you about the new features of Dementor Publisher 2012. Now, the first thing that I want to point out, something that I find very, very interesting, is this new Publish Area tool. So now with, uh, with Publisher, we can set this Publish Area on every single snapshot. We can set individual Publish Areas if we'd like. Uh, and this allows us to very, very easily keep track of exactly the publish size that we're creating. Right, you can see I can set up a print size, I can set up a custom resolution. You know, we can go up to 300 DPI here if we need to. What this means is that instead of worrying about, you know, is this um, certain piece going to be off of our layout, uh, we know exactly what our part is going to look like, what our layout is going to look like every single time. It's what you see is what you get. Uh, another thing that people have been asking for quite a bit uh, is dimensions. So right here, you can see we can just place a dimension kind of dimension that I placed here. It's associated back to my geometry very importantly. So if I make a change in Inventor, uh, that change is going to show up here in Publisher. You can see I've got options to customize that uh, that dimension, just like we would have when we're uh, working in Inventor. So if I wanted to create a new dimension, I'll create a radius here. You can see we've got linear, angular, and radius options. So I'll just click here to place that dimension. And we're all set. Now, one thing that I really like um, with these dimensions is that if we're working out of plane, let's say we're working in an isometric view, you know, like we've got right here, we can place those dimensions on any plane that we would uh, we would like to. So if you're uh, familiar with Inventor, when we're placing dimensions like this, you know, a lot of the time we're stuck because we're we're uh, moving around between some predefined planes. Now with Publisher, as you can see, even though I'm in a perspective view here, I'm able to put that dimension in any plane that I would like. So a plane that makes sense, and we'll click to place that, and we're all ready to go. Now, if you've placed your dimension and you don't like the plane that it's on, we can go here to Edit Plane. And let's say I want this to be in my rear plane there. And as you can see, we're going to have to approximate it, but we're all set. So that is our dimension feature here in Inventor Publisher 2012. Another thing that I've been using quite a bit um, is our new publisher for Microsoft Word added. So a lot of people, you know, we're creating technical documents. Um, a lot of people are using Publisher. Uh, and Word in conjunction for the technical documents. And one thing that I've heard quite a bit um, is people would like to have a link between Word and Publisher, right? We've always been able to output to Word. Um, but what if we've got a document that needs a little bit more formatting? We, you know, we had our template controls earlier, but a bit more of an intuitive way to do it now is with this Publisher added here in Word. And I would like to pull in that image from Inventor Publisher. So I'm just going to go over to my new Inventor Publisher add in here within Word and pull up my browser. And you can see we get a list here of all of our different snapshots uh, that we can pull in. So I'm going to select this and just drag it into my document here. We can see it comes up with a preview. It's using that using that publish area that we had earlier. I'm going to go in here and change this to a custom one. So we will just up the resolution here because we're working with a, a print document. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm just going to change my picture tools here, change my format. And now we can position this the way that we'd like. So we'll go in here, we can just size up our document. And we're all set. In Inventor Publisher 2012 is the addition of new visual parts lists. So if I click here to create a parts list, uh, it's going to allow me to create one with a thumbnail, as we can see right here. Now these thumbnails are customizable. In this case, I'll just leave them. We can check off the ones that we'd like. Uh, we can change the different fields in here. One addition that's also in here is the ability to put in custom columns. A lot of people have been asking for that. But I will just hit OK. In this case, we got some balloons already, so we don't need them. It's going to generate that parts list for us. And now that I've created it, obviously, this is a little too big. So I can go in and just resize this parts list. Resize the previews if you need to. And we will just move our document here to adjust. So there we go, we get our individual parts list, and we're all set. Now, another new addition that I like is the ability to pull in our AutoCAD blocks. Now, a lot of people have been creating technical publications with AutoCAD, so this is a nice feature. I can go in and just find any AutoCAD file. In this case, I got a doc drawing here called Blocks, and I'll just pull up the block that I need. And we can just go ahead and place that block just like we're placing an image. After we've done that, we can scale it, <clears throat> adjust our screen placement. But this allows us just to use those blocks just like you would use an image. Finally, we've got a lot of performance enhancements here with, uh, within Publisher. You'll notice that importing files is going to be much, much faster. In addition, we've got a lot of control now uh, over our visual fidelity. 
So right here we have our view, view fidelity slider. This is going to adjust uh, the amount of smoothing that is being performed on our model here. So let me just zoom in. We'll get an idea of what this looks like. You can he see here if I up the view fidelity, um, this is increasing the anti-aliasing or the amount of post-processing that uh, the computer is doing. You can see that it results in a much smoother image. If we scale this down, you can see we get a bit of a jaggy image here. That said, it's going to be much faster. So you've got a few options. It's very, very easily accessible here. You can scale it down when you need to be you know, annotating or setting your model up. And you can turn it up when you want to um, get a bit of a better picture of your model. So that was Inventor Publisher 2012. You know, very, very good release. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.